We're having a look at a weapon defence. What he's doing is he's coming in, he's going to try and hit me over the head, and he's got a baseball bat. He's doing a two-handed attack. I'm moving to this, and I parry the weapon out of the way. Can you do the attack in game, please? So I'm moving to him, parry, and then I'm going to hit him underneath the chin, and I'm doing a strike going and using my forearm. My hand comes up, clasping my hands together, I start to strangle him. Take a hold onto his arm, and I've got my left hand doing this, and I'm going to reverse back and use the chairs to throw him face down into the chairs. I can kneel down on his chair, so I've got a lock coming on him. Let the weapon go now. Drop it down on the floor. Down! I can strike into his back, pick the weapon up, keep controlling him. Down! Take his knee out and finish. We're having a look at a weapon defence. What he's doing is he's coming in, he's going to try and hit me over the head, and he's got a baseball bat. He's doing a two handed attack. I'm moving to this and I parry the weapon out of the way. Can you do the attack again, please? So I'm moving to him, parry, and then I'm going to hit him underneath the chin, and I'm doing a strike going in using my forearm. My hand comes up, clasping my hands together, I start to strangle him. Take a hold onto his arm, and I've got my left hand doing this, and I'm going to reverse back and use the chairs to throw him face down into the chairs. I can kneel down on this chair, so I've got a lock coming on him. Let the weapon go now. Drop it down on the floor. Yeah! I can strike into his back, pick the weapon up, keep control of him. Yeah! Take his knee out and finish. Coming into my head area, it's a direct strike. All I'm doing is I'm going to block strike and push his arm out of the way. Elbow strike him and arm lock him. Once I've got the arm lock on him, all I'm going to do is I'm kicking his leg out until I drop him down to the chair. You can see his head has crashed into it. I rotate his arm around. Let the weapon go now. I've got control of him. Take the weapon off him. His leg is exposed over this way. Yeah! I can strike and finish. A blow coming into my head area. It's a direct strike. All I'm doing is I'm going to block strike and push his arm out of the way. Elbow strike him and arm lock him. Once I've got the arm lock on him, all I'm going to do is I'm kicking his leg out until I drop him down to the chair. You can see his head has crashed into it. I rotate his arm around. Let the weapon go now. I've got control of him. Take the weapon off him. His leg is exposed over this way. I can strike and finish. The attacker's coming in with a, a downward blow towards my head. Now, what he's doing on this is stepping into me and I'm just working to the inside of him. As I work to the inside of him, I'm parrying and making a strike up into his face, reaching over so I take a hold on his hand, but my elbow is pointing forward. I'm always aware of other attacks coming through. I make a big circle and start to push him off balance for this. You do the attack again. So, I come into him over, I'm going to reverse back, draw him down on the chair and lock him. Now I'm dropping my backside into him and I've got a lock and control on him. Let the weapon go, take the weapon off him. And what I'm doing on this is just pushing against his elbow so I've got a lock. Yeah! I can strike and finish. The attacker's coming in with a, a downward blow towards my head. Now, what he's doing on this, he's stepping into me, and I'm just working to the inside of him. As I work to the inside of him, I'm parrying and making a strike up into his face, reaching over so I take a hold on his hand, but my elbow is pointing forward. I'm always aware of other attacks coming through. I make a big circle and start to push him off balance for this. You do the attack again. So, I come into him over, I'm going to reverse back, draw him down onto the chair and lock him. Now I'm dropping my backside into him and I've got a lock and control on him. Let the weapon go, take the weapon off him. And what I'm doing on this, just pushing against his elbow so I've got a lock. Yeah, I can strike and finish. Jack is doing a side blow and he's stepping into me, he's armed with a weapon. And all I'm doing is I'm block striking and pushing down. Now I've stepped forward with my left leg. My hand goes onto his shoulder and I hit him underneath the chin. Can you do your attack again for me, please? So I move in, block, hit him underneath the chin, drive him down onto the chair, and now I'm using the arm in order to be able to get a lever coming on him. Let the weapon go, drop it down. I give him a little strike, I keep the lock on him, through, kick, and finish. Tack is doing the side blow and he's stepping into me, he's armed with a weapon, and all I'm doing is I'm block striking and pushing down. Now, I step forward with my left leg, my hand goes onto his shoulder and I hit him underneath the chin. Can you do your attack again for me, please? So, I move in, block, hit him underneath the chin, drive him down onto the chair, 
And now I'm using the arm in order to be able to get a lever coming on it. Let the weapon go. Drop it down. Yeah. I give him a little strike. I keep the lock on him. Through. Yeah. Kick and finish. The attacker's doing a side blow coming into my head area. Now what I'm doing on this one is I'm ducking down underneath the movement and I'm stepping out with my left and I'm striking him and I'm hitting him with a flexible palm heel. This is going into his solar plexus. Off from this I raise my arm up and I hit the side of his neck, bring my hands up so it's a palm to palm position and start to squeeze coming in. I knee kick him, step back and I'm driving him down onto the chair. I extend now so his neck is down on this. I've got a lock on his arm, let the weapon go. I can move away, stamp down onto his foot, and finish. The attack is doing a side blow coming into my head area. Now what I'm doing on this one is I'm ducking down underneath the movement, and I'm stepping out with my left, and I'm striking him, and I'm hitting him with a flexible palm heel. This is going into his solar plexus. Off from this, I raise my arm up, and I hit the side of his neck, bring my hands up so it's a palm to palm position, and start to squeeze coming in. I knee kick him, step back, and I'm driving him down onto the chair. I extend out so his neck is down on this. I've got a lock on his arm. Let the weapon go. I can move away, stamp down onto his foot, and finish. The attacker's coming in and doing a side blow to my head area, and I'm working to the inside. If you push against my arm, right, I should be in a strong enough position to be able to stop him off with this. This works simply by not allowing his hand to pass past his shoulder. You do your attack again. I move and make a strike. I reach across with my right hand, draw his arm around, and bring my hand just to the inside this way. This way I've started to get a powerful lock on him. I'm driving him back so he drops down onto the chair. And you can stand up from there. No way he's going to do this. Thumb lock onto him and fingers bending back. I've got control on him. In, in, out, and strike and finish. The attack is coming in and doing a side blow to my head area, and I'm working to the inside. And if you push against my arm, right, I should be in a strong enough position to be able to stop him off with this. This works simply by not allowing his hand to pass past his shoulder. You do your attack again. I move in, make a strike, I reach across with my right hand draw his arm around and bring my hand just to the inside this way. This way I've started to get a powerful lock on him. I'm driving him back so he drops down onto the chair. And you can stand up from there. No way he's going to do this. Thumb lock onto him and fingers bending back. I've got control on him. In, in, and strike and finish. What I'm doing is I'm just quarter stepping moving out of the way. As a quarter step, I'm going to blend in with his movement. Can you just go a little bit faster with your movement for me? So, I move out of the way. Once I move out of the way, I'm reversing back and I'm lining his elbow up with the arm of the chair and I'm going to throw him straight down into this. I bend his arm around, put my knee onto the back of it, let the weapon go, and I draw the knife off him. If it happens to cut him, there's not much I can do on this. There's loads of pressure on his arm at the moment, so my knee is just controlling him. Yeah! I can strike and finish. The attacker's arm with a knife and he's going to do a lunge coming into my stomach if you just show them the movement on this. What I'm doing is I'm just quarter stepping moving out of the way. As a quarter step, I'm going to blend him with his movement. Can you just go a little bit faster with your movement for me? So I move out of the way. Once I move out of the way, I'm reversing back and I'm lining his elbow up with the arm of the chair and I'm going to throw him straight down into this. I bend his arm around, put my knee onto the back of it, let the weapon go, and I draw the knife off him. If it happens to cut him, there's not much I can do on this. There's loads of pressure on his arm at the moment, so my knee is just controlling him. Yeah! I can strike and finish. The attacker's doing a lunge, and I'm just working to the outside of him. He does his attack, a quarter step out of the way. Now, what I'm doing is I'm striking, and I'm going into an attenny point, and I'm attacking where his bicep and tricep are, right in there, pressure point. So do you attack again for me. I move coming in and I'm striking and I'm punching into his leg. I'm going to kick him down on this, draw him around so I've got a strangle and lock on him. I'm reversing back, let the knife go now, drop it down onto him, draw him over, <coughs> elbow strike him, push him away, I exit and finish.
The attacker is doing the lunge and I'm just working to the outside of him. He does his attack a quarter step out of the way. Now what I'm doing is I'm striking and I'm going into the tenny point and I'm attacking where his bicep and tricep are, right in there, pressure point. So do you attack again for me? I move coming in and I'm striking and I'm punching into his leg. I'm going to kick him down on this, draw him around so I've got a strangle and lock on him. I'm reversing back, let the knife go now. Drop it down onto him, draw him over, elbow strike him, push him away, I exit and finish. Lunge chat coming through and I want to work to the inside of him so I'm quarter stepping, moving out of the way. I realise that this is a danger zone. As I come inside here, although I've dodged the knife, there could be other things that are going to follow through. So as soon as I move into him, I'm striking and I'm punching just... Where his shoulder comes around, a tenny point in him. You can do that part for me again. I move into him, extend him away, sweep, throw him down. I'm going to lock so you can just see this movement where I've got elbow lock on him. Let the knife go now, into him. Kick and finish. Lunge chat coming through, and I want to work to the inside of him, so I'm quarter stepping, moving out of the way. I realise that this is a danger zone. As I come inside here, although I've dodged the knife, there could be other things that are going to follow through. So as soon as I move into him, I'm striking and I'm punching just where his shoulder comes around, a tenny point in him. You can do that part for me again. I move into him, extend him away, sweep, throw him down. Yeah! I'm going to lock so you can just see this movement where I've got elbow lock on him. Let the knife go now, into him, yeah, kick and finish. The attacker's coming in and doing an ice pick attack. A really dangerous attack. Very awkward to do movements where we can't block going into it. So what I want to do is I want to parry this around. And I'm taking the weapon right the way in front of him. So as he comes through, I parry, I'm stepping into him, and I'm driving him forward, pull his leg so that way it controls him. I move in. Now, I'm stamp kicking down onto his ankle, but there's an attenny point in there straight away. I can strike down, hit him, move in, weapon away. The attacker's coming in and doing an ice pick attack. A really dangerous attack. Very awkward to do movements where we can't block coming into it. So what I want to do is I want to parry this around. And I'm taking the weapon right the way in front of him. So as he comes through, I parry. I'm stepping into him and I'm driving him forward. Pull his leg so that way it controls him. I move in. Now I'm stamp kicking down onto his ankle, but there's an attenny point in there straight away. I can strike down, hit him, move in, weapon away. Uh, looking at a gun defence, now, irrespective of what you think from a Hollywood point of view about sticking your hands up, wait to be told what to do. So my hands are just down by my sides. He wants my money. My money's in this pocket. Okay, if I reach in and get it, I'm going to hand it to him. Once I hand it to him, I'm moving out of the way, and I've brought my left hand up, and I'm just covering the gun. I've moved my foot out of the way, so it's not going to get shot as you're going through this. So here's my money. I move out of the way. I turn this so I'm using the gun as a lever and I'm just dropping him down onto the, onto the chair. Let the gun go in. I can strike, move away and finish. Well, looking at a gun defence, now, irrespective of what you think from a Hollywood point of view about sticking your hands up, wait to be told what to do. So my hands are just down by my sides. He wants my money. My money's in this pocket. Okay, if I reach in and get it. I'm going to hand it to him. Once I hand it to him, I'm moving out of the way, and I've brought my left hand up, and I'm just covering the gun. I've moved my foot out of the way, so it's not going to get shot as you're going through with it. So here's my money. I move out of the way. I turn this so I'm using the gun as a lever, and I'm just dropping him down onto the, onto the chair. Let the gun go in. I can strike, move away, and finish. Tack this time is he's coming to the back, and he's got a gun going into my back. He's told me he has a gun and he wants some money off me. I'm going to tell him to start off with that the money's in this pocket. Okay, we're reaching and get it. Mm -hmm. I'll wait for him to give me the okay. I'm bringing the money across so I take it with my right hand to my left and hand it to him. As I hand it to him, I'm moving underneath his arm and driving him off balance. As I'm driving him off balance, I'm going to drive him down, use the chair again, line his arm up and start to lever and lock on him. Right? Now, this is a real arm breaker. Let the gun go now. 
I take it off him, I've got control on him, I point the gun at him just in case it fires, I don't know whether it's real or not, but the lock is definitely real, I move up, give him a kick and finish. Tack this time, he's, he's come into the back and he's got a gun going into my back. He's told me he has a gun and he wants some money off me. I'm going to tell him to start off with that the money's in this pocket, okay for reaching and get it. Mm -hmm. I'll wait for him to give me the okay. I'm bringing the money across so I take it with my right hand to my left and hand it to him. As I hand it to him, I'm moving underneath his arm and driving him off balance. As I'm driving him off balance, I'm going to drive him down, use the chair again, line his arm up and start to lever and lock on him. Right. Now, this is a real arm breaker. Let the gun go now. I take it off him, I've got control on him, I point the gun at him just in case it fires. I don't know whether it's real or not, but the lock is definitely real. I move up, give him a kick and finish. The attacker's approached me, he's got a gun coming to the side of the head. Again, it's a robbery situation on this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell him where my money is. Money's in this pocket, okay, we'll reach it and get it and I hand it to him. Once I move into him, I'm making a strike going into his groin area. I reverse back, and this is with my left leg. My foot comes out in front of him, and I'm just drawing him, and I'm dropping him down off the chair. I've got a lock on him. I can strike him. Let the gun go now. I move away from him. While I've got the gun, I'm just going to use this, because it's a nice heavy gun. Take his knee out, then I make a safe exit. The attacker's approached me, he's got a gun coming to the side of my head. Again, it's a robbery situation on this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell him where my money is, money's in this pocket, okay for reaching and get it, and I hand it to him. Once I move into him, I'm making a strike going into his groin area, I reverse back, and this is with my left leg, my foot comes out in front of him, and I'm just drawing him, and I'm dropping him down onto the chair, I've got a lock on him, I can strike him, let the gun go now, all right? I move away from him. While I've got the gun, I'm just going to use this because it's a nice heavy gun. <laughs> Take his knee out, then I make a safe exit. The attacker's arm himself with a chain and he's doing a reverse hand attack. Now, what I'm doing with this is I'm moving into him and blending him through. But when I'm blending him through, I'm applying a lock to the back of his elbow and pulling on this so you can see that it's automatic lever. As I come to do my movement, I reverse around, drive him down into the chair, knee goes just into the back of his elbow joint or above it, let the weapon go, take it off him, look for a good target, that foot looks great to me, <coughs> I can strike and finish. The attacker's armed himself with a chain and he's doing a reverse hand attack. Now, what I'm doing with this is I'm moving into him and blending through, but when I'm blending through, I'm applying a lock to the back of his elbow and pulling on this, so you can see that it's automatic lever. As I come to do my movement, I reverse around, drive him down into the chair, knee goes just into the back of his elbow joint or above it, let the weapon go, take it off him, look for a good target, that foot looks great to me, I can strike and finish. The attackers come in, grab me from the back, put a chain around my neck. My first reaction is, I've brought my left hand up, and my fingers are going in, pointing down, so that way it restricts off the, the strangulation. I'm making a strike into his groin area, hand goes around his waist, I took my hips back into him, turn, throw him into the chairs, strike, yeah, elbow, move back and finish. The attackers come in, grab me from the back, put a chain around my neck. My first reaction is, I've brought my left hand up and my fingers are going in, pointing down, so that way it restricts off the, the strangulation. I'm making a strike into his groin area, hand goes around his waist, I took my hips back into him, turn, throw him into the chairs, strike, dear, elbow, move back and finish. The attacker's come in from the back of me, he's put the baseball up around by my neck. Now, I'm bringing my hands up and pulling down on this. If he pulls back into me as hard as he wants to, right, he can't move me because I've also adopted a posture. I'm making a strike coming into him, I'll lever him around, and I've got a lock on his arm, and all I'm going to do is reverse around now, take him down into the chair, I've got lock and control on him, that knee's just calling out, saying, kick me, which I will do, yeah, and I can finish. The attacker's come in from the back of me, he's put the baseball up around by my neck. Now, 
I'm bringing my hands up, I'm pulling down on this. If he pulls back into me as hard as he wants to, right, he can't move me because I've also adopted a posture. I'm making a strike coming into him, I'll lever him around, and I've got a lock on his arm, and all I'm going to do is reverse around now, take him down into the chair, I've got lock and control on him, that knee's just calling out, saying, kick me, which I will do, and I can finish. The attack is coming real close quarter attack. Got the gun up into the side of my head area, again demanding cash. So I bring this pocket, it's okay to reach over and get it. Mm -hmm. I wait for him to go for it in. I make a strike coming into his groin and I move the gun away from me. My hand comes up and I'm doing a figure four lock. I'm starting to turn the gun, but at the same time I reverse back, take him down to the chair. Once I'm into position, I can kick through, move back, cover him, and finish. The attack is coming real close quarter of attack. Got the gun up into the side of my head area, again demanding cash. So I'm in this pocket, it's okay to reach over and get it. Mm -hmm. I wait for him to go for it in. I make a strike coming into his groin and I move the gun away from me. My hand comes up and I'm doing a figure four lock. I'm starting to turn the gun, but at the same time I reverse back, take him down to the chair. Once I'm into position, I can kick through, move back, cover him, and finish. Attack is coming from the back of me. He's got the blade up against my throat. This is a real dangerous situation. Now, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I want to tell him that I've got my money in my one pocket. Here it is. You can see he has to take his hand off my shoulder. Once he's doing this, I'm bringing my hand up and I'm pulling down. If you try and cut my throat from here, hard as you like, all right, I've got my back of my bicep muscle, tricep muscle, resting onto my chest, and that way I can lock and control him. Again, if you pull up from there, ain't gonna move him. I'll move back, straight coming into his groin, and I push backwards. Now, unfortunately on this one, the attacker is gonna get injured. I'm moving, take the blade off him, and finish. Attack is coming from the back of me. He's got the blade up against my throat. This is a real dangerous situation. Now, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I want to tell him that I've got my money in my one pocket. Here it is. You can see he has to take his hand off my shoulder. Once he's doing this, I'm bringing my hand up and I'm pulling down. If you try and cut my throat from there, hard as you like, all right, I've got my back of my bicep muscle, tricep muscle, resting onto my chest, and that way I can lock and control him. Again, if you pull up from there, ain't going to move him. I'll move back, straight coming into his groin, and I push backwards. Now, unfortunately on this one, the attacker is going to get injured. I'm moving, take the blade off him, and finish. On the last attack, I showed you where the attacker got stabbed. It's kind of unfortunate. I want to show you how to do this technique where we can also take the knife off him and restrain him. Same position as before. Here's my money. Hand comes up. I pull this tight into my body. I move to the side and make a strike coming into his groin area. I move around the back of him, and I'm just starting to lever and lock him. Let the knife go now. Now I can draw him back into the chair, lock him down onto it, <coughs> strike, and finish. On the last attack, I showed you where the attacker got stabbed. It's kind of unfortunate. I want to show you how to do this technique where we can also take the knife off him and restrain him. Same position as before. Here's my money. Hand comes up. I pull this tight into my body. I move to the side and make a strike coming into his groin area. I move around the back of him and I'm just starting to lever and lock him. Let the knife go now. Now I can draw him back into the chair, lock him down onto it. The attacker's come in, he's doing a push against me, driving me against the wall. Now, when we're doing this, first thing I'm doing is I'm protecting myself against the wall. My shoulders don't drive right the way back. I lap against the wall with the small of my back, my heel goes against the wall, and my backside, so it gives me a good push. I can control my movements. He's got a side blow coming into the head area, so you do your side blow for me. I block it, elbow him, bring my arm around, and I'm doing straight arm lock position, I reverse back, throw him into the wall, kick him, swing around, draw him into a lock, yeah! elbow strike his arm, disarm him, move away, yeah! kick and finish. The attacker's come in and he's doing a push against my throat and then he's drawing a knife out and a lunge at me and I'm doing a quarter step to move out of the way. Because he's attack again, 
a put, you get pushed, move out of the way, and I drive it so the blade is going into the water, because you don't want more time for me, please. So pushing back in, move out of the way, I reverse back, throw him into the wall, I've got small wrist turn lock on him, I draw the blade out so it's going out. If he cuts his fingers, that's kind of tough. Yeah! I kick him in the groin, yeah! strike and finish. The attacker's approaching me and driving me, pushing me up against the wall. I'm using that same position to ease myself back into the wall. So it gives me a push, I move back. He's going through for a cleave, and I just start to deflect his arm around. If you do the cleave again, please. So I come in, I reverse, take him up against the wall. I've got my elbow resting just above his, his elbow joint. A lever coming back, let the weapon go. I take the weapon off him, <laughs> elbow strike him, yeah, kick and finish. The attacker's coming in and making an attack, demanding money off me. Now, my money's in my back pocket. Okay, we're reaching in gates. Right? I'm going to get his consent first. So I hand the money over to him. My hand comes down and I'm bringing the knife close into my chest. If you push up from there with the blade, if I'm trying to push up hard, okay, he's not going to be able to do any movement with this. Once I'm in a position from this, I'm using my hand letting go of my wallet and striking it across his throat. This is with the edge of my arm. I turn him straight into the wall and I've now got a very powerful strangle on him. Knee kick coming into his groin, draw the blade off him so I've got control. Yeah! Strike and finish. After that, I can pick my own wallet back up. In, pushing me against the wall and got the blade across the side of my neck. Again, he's demanding money off me. I'm going to tell him my money's in my back pocket, this is my wallet, okay we're reaching and get it. Mm -hmm. Once I get his consent, here it is. Once I've got that attention off him where he's taking the hold of the wallet, I'm going to start to move. But when I go to start to move, right, I take control. Again, if you push the blade tight against my throat, or you can push it as hard as you like, right, he can't move me because my arm's locked down into my body. Off from that movement, I'm moving around with him, driving him up against the wall and applying a lock against his wrist and elbow. You can see he's trapped against the wall. I take the blade off him, elbow strike, kick, move him, yeah, finish him, get my wallet back and I'm done. The attacker's coming in and he's doing an ice pick attack. He's pushing me against the wall and I'm going to move to the side. You do the push again for me. As I move, I parry the blade out of his way. I'm going to palm heal him underneath the chin. Little strike coming into the groin area and I'm stepping through. I'm just easing him down because you can see his head could collide with the stair on the, on the first stair down there. I strike into his groin, throw his leg over, <laughs> stamp down on the leg, pick the weapon up and I can finish. What's happening now is the attacker is going to do a lunge. So he's moving over, attacking down, and I'm moving out of the way. So we just do that part again. I parry the weapon out of the way, feed it across his throat, drive him up into the corner, and I'm pushing his elbow so he locks into the uh, side of the corner of the wall on it, strike into his groin, reach over, take the weapon, yeah! strike and finish. We've got is a baseball attack. He's stepping down the stairs and lunging at me. Now, as he goes to do the movement, I'm accepting his movements. My arms go underneath. I took my hips into him, tried to take him over, extend his arms out so I've got him blocked. Control. Yeah! I can strike and finish. Attack his arm with a baseball bat and he's crashing me up against the wall so he's driving me backwards. You just go back on that one. Now, all I'm doing is I'm bringing my arms up to the inside and if he pushes against my body, I've taken my wall stance so I'm protecting myself. In my wall stance, my one hand is going up onto the back of his neck and this is my left hand. Knee kick comes into him. I move him around, push this across his throat so you can tell me in a powerful stance. Knee kick him. Weapon away and finish. The attacker's coming down the stairs and he's pushing me, driving me forward into the wall. Just stay where you are for me. If you do the push as hard as you can into me, what I do is I learn how to control my body movements by fingers are going into the wall, palms, and easing myself forward. My head turns to one side so I'm not going to headbutt the wall. If he comes in the game, I move into him and keep coming back. Once I move back, I turn. Yeah! and finish. The attacker's doing a push against my shoulder and he's going to hit me over the back of the head. Right? Now, as soon as he starts to push me, 
I'm turning and deflecting. I'm drawing around and drawing him into the wall. I hook my arm around so I've got arm lock on him straight away. I reach over, draw down, and I've got him locked up against the wall. Here! I can strike and finish him. The attacker's managed to get into the side of me. He's got the chain around my neck. I'm bringing my one hand up and this is my left hand and taking a hold. Making a strike into his groin, I move my head out of the way because his head's going to move forward from the reaction of the strike to the groin. I put the hand around his waist, took my hips into him, throw him over. You'll see that his head is sliding down the wall. All I'm doing is I'm turning his wrist out so that way I can lock him. Knee comes down, let the weapon go. I can strike and finish. The attacker's going to drive me up against the wall puts a gun into my body, demanding some cash off me. My wallet is in my back pocket, I'm going to tell him about this. Money's in the back pocket, okay if I reach up and get it. Once I get that consent, here's the money. Now, all I'm doing on this is I'm moving to the side and turning the gun back into him. That his finger's on the trigger and I can control this, but I'm also putting leverage against the back of his arm. Take the gun off him, control him, <laughs> elbow, <laughs> knee and finish. The attacker's going to push me up against the wall, he puts a gun into my face, he's demanding my money, and all I'm doing is I'm telling him it's in my back pocket, okay? Here it is, right? Once I do this, because the gun is high, it goes back into his face, I turn this around and I'm putting a sankyo on him, I take the gun off him, use it to strike into his knee, once I've got control on this, I'm moving him, getting retrieving my wallet, move back, yeah, kick and finish. Tack is coming from the back of me, and he's going to drive me against the wall, and which, again, I'm just controlling my movement going in with this. You'll see that I've come into a stance, put a gun into my back, and he's demanding some money off me. My wallet is in my back pocket. Okay, we're reaching and get it. Yeah. Here's the money, all right? I move, and all I'm doing with this is I'm just deflecting the gun to the side. I make a rolling action, draw him up against the wall, point the gun towards him so I'm safe, Keep coming in, elbow striking, take my wallet, move back and finish. We're having another attack. This time the attacker's got a piece of wood and he's going to do a strike coming into my stomach. If you just show him the movement, so <coughs> pushes me back with this. Once he pushes back, he's going to draw me in and make a strike through. So if you just start the movement again, so he comes in, drives me back, move coming in, I'm taking this to the wall, and I'm using the weapon as a lever, so I've got my left hand on top, right hand underneath, I drive him around into the wall, and I roll. This rolling action pushes his head neatly up against the wall, brings the groin forward, I can knee kick it in, I can strike and finish. Tack is coming in from the back of me, grabbing the hold of me. Now, I'm raising my one hand up and I've moved back into him straight away into a posture position. My tricep muscle is just touching the my chest here, and if he wants to pull hard against this, right, I'm in a comfortable position. I'm going to drive him back to the wall, strike coming in, bring my one leg out and draw him around, drop him down onto the floor, knee comes in, I've got a lock on his arm, yeah, I can strike to finish. Tack has armed himself with a, a knife and he's doing an ice pick attack. What I want to do is I want to use the ball to help me with the defences on this. As he does his attack, I'm moving out of the way and parrying. My right hand just goes up, left hand goes underneath. I push the blade back into his face, spin him around and crash him into the wall. I'm using the wall to lock his arm up, so I'm bending against his wrist. Knee kick come in, I take the knife, I do strike move back and finish. I'm the lunge coming into my stomach here, moving out of the way. What I'm going to do is put it back to the wall to my advantage. So as he moves into this, I'm turning, small wrist turn is going into him, blade resting up against the wall, I can kick him, elbow strike to the back of his neck, move away, got it disarmed and finish. The attack is going to go with a kick first, and all I'm doing is I'm parrying this out of the way. What he's going to do from here is going to try and do a reverse hand attack to me. So as he comes in, he goes one, I meet this, so my arm, right hand just goes by his wrist, left arm just goes to the back of the elbow. He did the movement again for me. So I parry, move into him, try him up against the wall. I've got my palm just resting at the back of his tricep. 
I pull forward, strike into his kidneys, take the knife off him, pull the little shot, and finish. Now with the baseball bat, and he's doing an attack where he's coming through one, and having to move out of the way, and then blend him with his movement. So as he does his attack, I move away, blend him with his movement, and I'm using this three through one. What I'm going to do is a leg sweep, shake him down, draw him around, me coming into the back of him, got him locked in control, use my elbow to strike and finish. The attacker's armed himself with a chain, he's doing a blow coming into my head, he's ducking underneath me. As I'm ducking underneath, I'm going to hit him into the solar plexus, elbow strike the back of his knee, lever to take him forward, stamp kick him to the spine, foot down to control him, hand over, foot onto the hand, him, finish the movement. The attacker's armed himself with both a knife and a chain. He's doing a lunge coming into me, and I'm moving back, and I'm just coming into a cat stance position. As I move back away from him, I'm moving and I do a crescent kick. When I'm doing this, I'm aiming just to block his elbow, so he doesn't get back his aim for me. So I move back, keep coming around. His weight has gone into this step, but he's going to reverse around and do a chain attack. I blend with his movement, draw him down to the floor, get my knee into his back so I lock and control him. Also, I've got good control on him. You can see he's locked off well. Take the weapons up in and finish. Attacks come in from all kind of angles and all kind of areas on it. I'm walking down a walkway here and I've got a potential attack and you're sitting over the side. As I'm walking down, he's going to draw a gun on me and demanding money off me. Right? Right. First thing I want to do, calm the situation down, all right? Don't hurt me. If you want my money, my money's in my back pocket. Okay, we're reaching and get it. Yeah. Once he gets his consent, here's the money, all right? I hand it to him. This gives him a distraction to start up with. With the distraction, I'm moving out of the way. So this is a gun he's pointing to one side, and then I'm drawing him across the rail and starting to lock him. My elbow is going to crash down into his face, and I've got an immediate lock on him. Let the gun go now, all right? I've now got control on him. I can strike him again into the breastbone with, with the, the elbow. I move back in and I can finish the technique. We all have to be able to live our lives and move around as much as we can. Right? I'm walking down here. As I pass this guy, he's going to pull a gun and he's going into my back. Again, he wants to rob me. And I'm going to talk my way out of it first. Money's in my back pocket. Okay, we're reaching and getting. Yeah. Okay. Once I reach in and get it, I'm going to hand it over to him. Now, you don't make this awkward by coming forward this way. Here's my money. As soon as I hand the money to him, this is my window of opportunity to defend myself. I'm moving back and I'm doing an elbow strike coming into him. So, where I've got into position, handed the weapon over, arm comes underneath, and I make a strike, I take him down, and I'm using the edge to lock him. So, I get down nice and low, knee comes in, let the weapon go, take it off him. Strike, move away, and finish. Attackers are real sneaky people. In, in our next defence routine, the attacker's approaching me, and what he's doing is he's just asking, asking me for the time. And what he's trying to do is trying to distract him first. So as he walks down there, he's asking me for the time. I might be happy to oblige him to start off with, but then he's got a baseball bat and he's pushing me across the road. Now, in this position, I brace myself straight away. My one foot has gone back into the wall. He gives a little push. I'm strong. I use one arm to come across his arm. This is my left hand. Right hand comes with me. I roll him through and I've got a lock and a disarm him. And I'm using the rail to help to do this. This rolling action strips the weapon away from me. I can strike with an elbow, knee kicking, yeah! strike and finish him. Having a look at a downward blow, I'm walking past the attacker, and as I walk past him, he comes in and makes a blow to my head. We just do this part again. So as he comes in, I blend him with his movements, draw him around so his chest goes down onto the rail. I turn into him and I'm actually leaning back into the rail, take the weapon off him. Elbow strike to finish it. Just leaning up against the rail here, the attack is approaching me from the back. You always have to have attention awareness. Right? As he approaches me, he's putting a gun into the back of my head. Now, in this situation, again, it's going to be a robbery. He's going to shot me beforehand. Right? But all I want to do on this is I want to move to the side. And you can see where I've got my hands on the rail. As I start to move, it starts to reflect the gun. Elbow goes into his face and he starts to turn. Do that movement again, 
So as I'm coming into the hip, I raise my arm up to my right arm, elbow coming in, I draw in the round onto the rail, lock and control him, let the gun go now. Right? Once I've got him into position, strike into his kidneys and finish the technique. Or a similar type of weapon. Got a down the blow coming in, we're going to parry, circle the hand around, we're going to throw, and move back to the stand. Now, what I'm going to do Down the floor coming in again. We're accepting the movement, feeding one hand to the other, coming underneath, got that person off balance. This arm, strong, strike, finish. You have a side block attack coming in. As it's coming in, you look down on me. Side blow attack. We're coming in, arm button, pushing the away. Go underneath the arm, strike using the back of your forearm, lift the arm up so we have a lot. Knee kick coming in, take the red up, and throw, and then move back. Side blow attack and work into the inside. Now, we parry this around, draw back, put a pressure on the back of the elbow and the wrist. Knee down into the shoulder blade and lock and control. Disarm the person, strike, move back up to your stance. We're having a reverse hand attack. We have a blade coming in with it, hand it in with it, control it. Move back to steps. We're having a reverse hand attack. And the blending with his turning onto the side. Turn around, front, over. Knee down into the back, control him. Let the weapon go and come back with your steps. Again, we have a lunge attack on you. We're bringing the hands underneath the, the, the weapon and we're taking it up towards the person. So we can move through, in, down, and finish. We're now going to work to the outside. 
side to it. The attack comes in from stepping down. As it's coming through, we're in turn. Push, play down, and it keeps the groin back to stand. Down with blow coming in game with our flexible weapon, the nunchaker. We're going to move to the inside, carry, move around, and now we're applying a lock against his wrist, just using the one part of the shaft. So we're going to apply a lock, drop him down, in, strike, and in. Finish the technique. Next, build attack. 
food being placed into our stomach area. Now, natural thing is to try and move away. Just step slightly forward, that way we're going to move into, we can move, so you move this out of the way very quickly. I'll place the hand up into the throat and turn the gun so it's away. Now my hand is right the way across the wrist joint, so that way we get control on towards it. And I'm advance forward with my left leg, also my right leg, and down to control. Now in this position, be careful that you don't break your partner's arm. Let it go! Right? Now you're going to roll over onto your stomach, do you understand? Move that person over, control them at all times. Once we're satisfied that we can control, we move back. And it's one posture. Our next attack is a gun again on the knee chin this time. Now, keep your posture. When you've been in an attack position like this, sometimes you get commands to, to reach into your pockets to empty you. Get your change or wherever else it is in a robbery. As soon as we get the command, this allows us to move. We move, move the head to the side, keeping the face away. The game we've got to remember that even if you move away from this, if it fires, you've got a heavy flash. So, our position, move. Now, doing a wrist turn, yeah, rolling him over straight away, getting the gun off him. Right? So that way we don't have to carry him all over. Right? Touching the gun to make sure, make sure that he knows that we've got control, right? and he just move back up into the stance. We now have the gun attack where we're trying to control our forehead. Take your posture. Again, wait for some uh, command off the person. Raising your hands up, move your head out of the way. But a forearm or elbow joint, just pressing across his elbow, and now we've got a lock on him. We're drawing around, slide the foot down, still keeping that gun away. Let it go. Come on, let the gun go. Once we get the release, elbow strike, come on, cover, and finish. situation where our attacker is coming to the rear of us. And again, wait for some kind of command before you start to move. Right? Keep your posture at all times. When the reverse coming around, I trap the arm just by hooking my left arm around and again we're controlling the wrist. The hand is moving and attack straight away into the throat, so we're using toe or sort of strike. I step through and again apply the rock. Let the gun go. Right? Now place the gun into the side of the neck, roll over to your stomach. A plan of controlling luck and finish. Go this time is into the back of your head. Now, take your posture. I've got my left leg forward. I'm lifting my arm up and starting to move. This deflects the, the gun away straight away. As we're going around, carrying on the surface, the control taking down, and we'll meet at the back of the other lock. Let the gun go. Again, touch and control, move up, cover, and then move away. Gun into the back, hand up towards the collar. But again, wait for some kind of command to get some movement going. Return coming around, scooping the arm underneath. Bring your arm around, trap the gun off. Take hold of the gun, let the gun go. I've got quite a powerful locker. Throw it, the hand, move into cover position. Now we're going to be ordered to kneel down. 
Now try and be a little bit cute about this. Don't be dropping down on both knees. When he's coming in, we're going to be down on one knee. So that way again, it gives us a chance to move. Wait for some kind of command. Move in strike. Take down, knee through for the tenor. Right? I've got immediate control, cover, move away. Starting up on knife attacks. Now, when you're generally training on the, the class, don't go handing knives to your side. So you put them down as that, and then step away. Right? I can then pick it up. Our first attack is, is a lunge coming in towards the stomach. Got my left leg forward, the quarter step and moving out of the way. Now, what we have to do is when his arm is moving forward, we blend in this arm. Right? So we match its speed and the movement it goes forward. Then we move. Reverse back, knee down on the neck, turn and throw. Apply a lock to the wrist, and move down towards the arm, let the knife go in case they're holding it. Slide it out backwards, roll over onto your stomach, in, lock and control here, and then move back and away. So this time I'm working the inside of the person. So I'm bringing my right hand over on top, left on the knee. So I'm moving through, circle around, come into the strapless stance, and again we're applying the lock. Let the knife go. Now while I'm doing this, is continual pain. Slide the knife out backwards. Move so that we can keep control. Kick and then finish. Again, we're having a lunge coming into our stomach. And what I'm doing now is I'm stepping away. Now, be careful with this technique. Right? If it's done properly, it comes out real good. But we've got to be careful with the knife blade. When he's lunging forward, we're moving, but it's got that blade is well away from it. We're going to rotate on the wrist, move him forward. Let the knife go. Now, slide that knife out backwards again, so I'll be no danger. Down, <coughs> strike, move back into the stance. Now we have a side blow coming in. We're 
again, a side three. When he's doing his attack, you come in, powerfully block, and then take hold. Forearm strike coming in, right underneath the chin, down, knee down in between the bicep and tricep muscle to lock. Now, when I'm holding down on the wrist, again, my hand is covering the wrist joint, not down here where you can maneuver the knife around. So, control it. Let it go. Roll onto your stomach. Move, push him over. Move down to control him. Strike, then move back to stance. Side blow attack coming in. Now, for this technique, this is one where they're really blasting through with their movement. So, you're going to do it down on the knee, strike, bring the hand up, lock and control, reach your arm over, pull this across, and you get a further lock. Let the knife go. Right? Now, I've got control of the knife, you move up, strong, keep, move back to stance. Inside of the person. As he does the attack, sending and parrying the wrist around, feeling past us, drop down in the knees with the sheer nagging. Knee goes in to control him, but I've already disarmed him up to a strike, and then come back up into stats. hand attacks. Now one this, the first part is where the person comes in, lets you move back. Right? Then we're going to come through for a second movement. Reverse back, move coming in there. Now I've got the hand of the chin thrown down, take him down. I'm using his elbow against the top part of the thigh. I've got the knee up into his neck. Now I've got him up in control. Let the knife go. Right? Strike with the head, elbow, then come up into stance. We're stepping back first and then turning into the person. We're just blending with their arm movement. Place your knee on the back of the elbow joint, pull the hand up, let the knife go. Draw the knife off them, keep, come back up to steps. Bring my left leg forward, ice pick it back. And when we're going in, we're moving into the person so the knife has been driven towards them. I reverse back on my left leg, turn on the wrist to take them down. Now, in this position, the blade is resting against their own forearm. To, take it, to get it up there, they go. We draw it out backwards. So again, you can see that we can cut the person. Bring the flat of the blade against the back of the edge of the arm, right, and turn the person over. Then you come back into your fighting stance.
high speed attack working to the inside of the curve. So as he's coming in, we're deflecting this, we're keeping it away from this. We're going to reverse back and now apply the knee. So we've got wrist spot on the Now, what I'm going to do is let the knife go. You slide backwards, so we draw it out through, <coughs> keep, finish. some close quarter attack. We've got body just coming up underneath the chin. Now move forward slightly in with this. Bring your one hand to take a hold and pull this in towards your chest so the blade starts to tilt away from you. Strike into the groin. Again, you'll see that this has got body contact all the way through. I reach the arm in, over, lock and control it. Reverse down, bring my knee in so we've got a lock on it. Let the knife go. Now we're taking the knife out backwards again. So we're keeping that lock on the board of the Push down, strike, move back to stats. My next close quarter knife attack is taking a hold onto the lapel, placing the knife across the throat. To demonstrate this, I'm just going to move our position so you can see what's happening. Now, you bring both hands up. Try to get your, your attacker's hand underneath your chin so that we can't get uh, the knife pushed into our neck. We're going to reverse around, and this is my right leg that's backing you up. We're going to start to put pressure on towards the elbow. Slide your left leg out, drop down, lock and control the person. Let the knife go. We get a release. Elbow strike. Place the points of the blade into the palm of the hand so that way the person will stay where you want them to stay, then come up into the steps. Close quarter attack, lapel hold, and knife coming towards the stomach. Again, keep your posture, very important. I'm bringing the left hand underneath, <coughs> right hand is punching out, so we're moving that blade away from us. Use those conditioned knuckles. Circle around, now we're going to our stand go position. Let the knife go, slide the blade so it comes out. <coughs> Kick, and come back into the stats. Attack now where the attack is coming towards the back, placing the knife up into the arm neck. Now get your posture to start up with. I'm bringing your one hand up and pushing across. This is my right hand and I'm pushing towards my left shoulder. Again, you try and pull that knife back into my throat, you find that it's quite difficult. We're going to keep coming into the groin. Now, as we're stepping through, we're going to take the knife, push in. Now, this is unfortunate, but it's the only way you can barely defend yourself with this one. Now, we're in our position, and off them, move back. Quarter attack here. Now, this will work well just from a standing position where you're pushed up against the wall. We're bringing the hands over onto the top uh, and we just drop the elbows down. In this position, I want the partner to push up. Now, you'll see that he's really struggling with this. Now, one thing that we can use is we can actually use the blade as a lever. Uh, now, while he's pushing up secure, put your hand on the flat of the blade and push back. My thumb is around onto his finger and I'm locked. That way, I can control him. Draw the blade out backwards, small bit of throwing down, hold up the control, and a very easy knife to fix. 